In the midst of the terrible and deafening din of battle, Michael's story commenced. A woman who adopted her after she lost both of her parents had a profound impact on her life. Michael sprung an astonishing surprise on her adoptive mother almost 30 years later. Michael came into this world on January 6, 1995, into a Muslim household in Sierra Leone. She was born into a country that was tragically in the midst of a civil war. Her father died in the war and her mother died of malnutrition and sickness, so it wasn't long until she lost both of her parents, so Michael became an orphan when she was quite little, after Michael's parents passed away, she moved in with her uncle, nonetheless, he eventually had her placed in an orphanage because he saw her as a burden, there, she was discriminated against by the social workers, who gave her the unlucky number 27 and treated her badly. The reason for this cruelty was that Michael was physically different from the other girls because she had vitiligo, an extremely rare skin disorder that discolored her face and neck, she was the target of severe bullying and bigotry due to her appearance, she was called a devil's child by the orphanage workers, who then ignored her and frequently failed to provide her with adequate nourishment, she was also considered inappropriate for adoption due to her ugly appearance. Michael had to get through her childhood in these terrible conditions since there was no way out. Luckily, Michael found solace in the company of another orphan girl at the institution, who happened to share her name and be given the number 26. Despite ridicule from outsiders, the two Michael became inseparable and became great friends. They had a great day going to school, eating, and playing together. As Michael sat outside the orphanage one day, an old dance magazine splattered over her face from a passing wind. A gorgeous, joyful, fair-skinned ballerina stood on her pink tutu, poised and poised, on the cover, enticed by the sight. Michael came to the realization that following a similar trajectory would bring her joy. She had a clear goal in mind for her future, to perform professionally as a dancer, hidden inside her underwear. She treasured the magazine cover, which she used as a motivational tool. Now Michael had a reason to live. Yet, she had to go through even more pain to get there. In addition to the bombing of the bunker where she sought refuge, rebels assassinated her beloved instructor. That meant a long trek to the next refugee camp for her. She remained there with a buddy and some other kids, despite seeing numerous horrific things. Her pain was going to soon be over. Her savior arrived in 1999 in the form of Elaine. Elaine, a resident of New Jersey, had a lifelong desire to adopt a child from Africa. She had already made up her mind at the tender age of 10 that she would welcome many adopted children into her enormous household. The other Michael, number 26, was originally going to be adopted by Elaine and Charles, but then an unforeseen event occurred before she could go to Sierra Leone to take the girl in as her own. While she was relaxing at home one day, the adoption agency called, and she didn't know what to do, because there were two Michael available for adoption. The agency called and asked which one I preferred. I wanted to be sure I understood, so I inquired more. Elaine elucidated that the other Michael, number 27, had been turned down by 12 families due to her vitiligo. The news crushed the heart of the civil rights leader. She didn't waste any time making a big decision. She told the agency she was going to adopt the two Michael. A girl with freckles was perfectly acceptable to her. After Elaine called her husband, who was away on a business trip, to tell him she was adopting a second girl, he was shocked. He was taken aback at first, but he eventually approved his wife's request. The time has come to return the African girls home after all these days. Elaine visited a Sierra Leone orphanage one weekend. Upon her arrival, she observed that Michael number 27 appeared to be skeptical about being adopted. I was on the verge of tears when I first laid eyes on her. Just standing there with her arms crossed, she gave off an awful impression of being undernourished and miserable. Elaine recalled that the woman possibly worried that she would be rejected again. She approached the little girl, took her hands, and prepared to welcome her into a warm and caring family. After I introduced myself as her new mother, she broke down in tears. The fact that someone was prepared to take her in as their own was unbelievable to her, she recounted. Following the completion of the required paperwork, Elaine brought the two girls back to the U.S. After realizing that everyone would have been confused by two girls named Michael, she changed their names. Michael was 27th and Mia was 26th. When Michael was adopted, her life took a dramatic turn for the better. Even though she still had moments of rejection anxiety, her adoptive parents gave her unconditional love and attention. There was an immediate outpouring of affection. I had never been in the company of such individuals before, Michael said. 
my adoptive parents made sure I was taken care of the best, and that she never had to worry about a thing. After supper one night, Michael proudly displayed the beloved magazine cover to her foster mother. She continued by saying she wished she could wear pointed shoes like the dancer. In response to her wish, Elaine expressed her hope that she, too, would be dancing someday. Michael and her sister Mia were both enrolled in ballet classes a few weeks later, just as she had promised, because becoming a ballerina had always been Michael's dream, she took the classes extremely seriously, she grew accustomed to her new existence during the subsequent years, she could always count on Elaine, who would spend hours tailoring her outfits to her skin tone, Michael continued to battle body image issues, especially related to her skin problem. But she made steady progress in her dance classes, still, she was hellbent on proving her naysayers wrong, Michael was quite excited to dance for the first time in front of a big crowd, at long last, her debut day had come, as soon as Michael finished getting ready, she hurried over to her adoptive mother, who was sitting in the audience, she worriedly inquired, Mom, can you see the spots on my body, smiling. Elaine reassured her daughter that the beings appeared to her like pixie dust and that she couldn't see them. Michael responded to her mother's reassuring comments with relief, saying, Oh great, now I can be a professional ballerina. Fortunately, her performance that day was a smashing success. Month by month, Michael became more at ease in her own skin. She made history at New York City's Dance Theater of Harlem when she performed as the youngest ballet dancer at the age of 17. The esteemed Dutch National Ballet recruited the young Sierra Leone dancer a year down the road, she was still a teenager, but she could now handle her own needs, Michael started out as a backing singer, but she eventually went solo, at the age of 22, she had risen to the position of one of the company's most elite ballerinas, she couldn't contain her elation at having achieved her lifelong goal of becoming a professional ballerina. Though she had to put in a lot of time and effort to achieve her goal, the end result was well worth the effort. By this point, she had caught the attention of numerous prestigious businesses and individuals throughout the globe. Michael graced the music videos of Madonna and Beyonce, a testament to her meteoric rise to fame. How wealthy and powerful she had become was beyond her wildest imagination. She reclined on a couch one chilly night and thought about her trip, after 27 long years. She had arrived and she knew that without Elaine, none of her dreams would have come true. Michael paid her back in this way, she lavished Elaine with luxury vacations and presents whenever she had the chance, they would occasionally spend weeks at a time in another city, on top of that, she went out and purchased Elaine a stunning automobile, the way her daughter treated her seemed unbelievable to Elaine, but she was pleased to have a daughter who loved her deeply and would always be there for her, Michael now serves as an ambassador for War Child a non-profit that provides aid to children impacted by war and other forms of violent conflict. After watching the first story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. Next, let's watch another similar story. When a gentleman encountered and wedded an African-American woman with four children, onlookers mocked and criticized them for assuming such a responsibility. However, years later, they all lamented their earlier remarks. Joe, an American of Korean descent, was a diligent entrepreneur who had established his own small enterprise, through hard work, he had amassed sufficient wealth to procure a comfortable home, possessing an admirable work ethic, he found fulfillment in his profession and life in general, yet, there was a noticeable void in his life, the absence of a companion to share it all with, devoid of a girlfriend and having abstained from dating for an extended period, his career always took precedence. Despite numerous sacrifices made to ensure the prosperity of his business, Joe found himself grappling with bouts of melancholy and isolation that only companionship could assuage. Determined to rectify this, Joe embarked on a quest to find a suitable partner. His criteria were not overly stringent in terms of physical appearance, rather, he sought someone capable of bringing joy and laughter into his life, blessed with a remarkable sense of humor. Joe desired a companion with whom he could engage in playful banter and enjoy lighthearted moments, initially targeting fellow American Koreans he encountered a scarcity of available options. Nonetheless, Joe remained undeterred, recalling the resilience he exhibited during the early struggles of his business, reflecting on his journey, he resolved not to succumb to despair, recognizing that perseverance and patience had been instrumental in his professional success. With the same unwavering determination, he remained confident that he would eventually find his soulmate, Joe didn't have to endure a lengthy wait before serendipity intervened, 
venturing into a bar after a day's work, he casually ordered a drink and settled into a seat, idly perusing his phone amidst the bustling crowd, with limited seating available, his attention was drawn to a black woman approaching his table, politely inquiring if she could occupy the vacant spot, Joe. Momentarily taken aback, welcomed her presence with genuine hospitality, when he raised his gaze, he was captivated by her striking appearance, akin to a scene from an animated film, seated before him was one of the most exquisite women he had ever encountered, her velvety ebony complexion exuding an aura of allure, complemented by mesmerizing eyes and a radiant smile, setting aside his phone, Joe seized the opportunity to introduce himself, extending a handshake to the woman who introduced herself as Ella Mays, Ella, originally intending to rendezvous with a friend at the bar, found herself stood up, ever the opportunist, Joe gallantly offered to buy her a drink, a gesture warmly reciprocated by Ella, who embraced the chance to salvage her evening, thus commenced an unexpected and delightful rendezvous between Joe and Ella, despite its impromptu nature, the chemistry between them was palpable, sparking an instant connection, recognizing their shared rapport. They expressed mutual interest in meeting again in the future, however, amidst the budding romance, a minor complication arose, particularly concerning Ella, she disclosed that she was a mother of four children, their father conspicuously absent from the picture, Ella harbored apprehensions that her past experiences would drive Joe away, as it had with numerous other suitors, recalling the recurring pattern of men expressing interest and establishing a connection. Only to vanish at the mention of her children, Ella acknowledged the daunting prospect of shouldering the responsibility of four kids, a deterrent for many potential partners, recognizing the challenge of integrating into a pre-existing family unit, she struggled to find someone who not only resonated with her but also embraced her children as part of the package deal, contrary to her fears, Joe remained undeterred by the prospect of stepping into the role of a father figure to Ella's children. Drawing from his upbringing in a large family, he had always envisioned himself as part of a similarly expansive household, Ella's ready-made family presented an opportunity for Joe to fulfill his aspirations of parenthood, despite his genuine happiness, Joe's announcement of his newfound love and her four children was met with skepticism and cynicism from both family and friends, they predicted the relationship's demise. Citing concerns that Ella's maternal obligations would invariably supersede her commitment to Joe, similarly, Ella encountered skepticism and criticism from her own family, who emphasized the demands of raising four children and questioned the wisdom of embarking on another relationship, despite the disapproval and skepticism surrounding them, Joe and Ella remained steadfast in their affection for each other, undeterred by external judgments, they continued to nurture their bond. After several months, Ella took the significant step of introducing Joe to her children, anticipating potential hurdles in their acceptance, however, much to Joe's delight and surprise, the children embraced him warmly, forging a connection that surpassed expectations, despite his lack of prior experience in fatherhood, Joe embraced the role with remarkable ease and enthusiasm, effortlessly adapting to the responsibilities that came with it, his demeanor exuded patience, understanding, and care. Never harboring resentment towards Ella for prioritizing her children in her daily life, recognizing and admiring her unwavering dedication, Joe's admiration for Ella only deepened, solidifying his desire to spend the rest of his days by her side, with a heart full of love and determination, Joe proposed to Ella, whose joyful acceptance marked the beginning of their journey towards matrimony, however, even with their engagement, doubts and criticisms continued to shadow their relationship. Despite the naysayers, Joe and Ella remained steadfast in their commitment to each other, rather than allowing the negativity to drive them apart, they found solace and strength in each other's presence, through heartfelt conversations and shared experiences, they navigated the challenges posed by their family's disapproval, finding comfort in their shared love and determination to defy expectations, their relationship blossomed amidst the trials they faced. With each hurdle serving only to strengthen their bond, as they embarked on numerous dates and intimate conversations, they discovered the richness of each other's cultural backgrounds, Joe, of Korean descent, and Ella, an African-American, reveled in sharing and exploring the nuances of their respective heritages, from customs and cuisines to traditions and values, each revelation brought them closer together, fostering a deep appreciation for the diversity and richness of their love. Despite the skepticism of others, Joe and Ella remained resolute in their pursuit of happiness, determined to forge a future filled with love, 
understanding, and mutual respect, Joe and Ella embarked on a remarkable journey together during their initial years, enriching their bond and broadening their perspectives. Their joy knew no bounds when Ella, Joe's partner, discovered she was expecting their child, marking the arrival of their fifth member. While Joe cherished Ella's four children as his own, the prospect of having a biological child filled him with immense delight. Over the ensuing years, the couple welcomed two more children, expanding their family to a grand total of seven. Despite encountering challenges and moments of ease, Joe and Ella stood steadfastly united. Unexpectedly, a fascinating twist unfolded in their lives. Ella ventured into vlogging, capturing snippets of their daily life for personal amusement, yet, their vlogs garnered a substantial online following, propelling the family into internet stardom. Their vlogging channel flourished, becoming a lucrative endeavor and complementing Joe's successful business ventures. Despite their newfound fame and wealth, Joe and Ella remained grounded, never straying from their humble origins, their unconventional family dynamic, infused with diverse cultures, became a source of fascination for many. Despite not fitting the mold of a traditional family, their love for one another, particularly Joe and Ella's bond, remained unwavering, the transformation from being scoffed at by skeptics to being celebrated as a symbol of success was a testament to their resilience and unity, reflecting on this extraordinary tale. One cannot help but wonder about the judgments others might have passed on Joe and Ella's relationship, yet, amidst it all, their enduring love prevailed. After watching the stories above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's stories. See you next time.